turn your Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 15. I'll show you another verse which totally destroys the whole concept of contemporary Christian rock, contemporary Christian music, whatever you want to call it, if you haven't been convinced by the other videos. <clears throat> 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 15. What is it then? I will pray with the Spirit, and I will pray with the understanding also. I will sing with the Spirit, and I will sing with the understanding also. Um, former Christian rock heavy metal guy here, militant defender of it. And a lot of the music I used to listen to, I couldn't understand what they were saying. Especially you get into the death metal stuff, the growling, the, you know, all the, you don't understand what they're saying. That disqualifies it. Okay. You can't tell me that God is for music that you don't even understand what they're saying. That's, it's confused and, and the, the speech is garbled and whatever else. But even more so than that, um, a lot of the lyrics to these modern Christian Christian songs um, are so vague and ambiguous. You don't even know what they're saying. It's, it's just it's not based on Scripture. And you look at some of the old hymns, and they're just beautiful, just almost poetry, the way that these things are written, and just so deep in their meaning and so profound. I knew a, a modern CCM uh, professing Christian, wicked woman, uh, and uh, she would say, she said, I hate the old hymns because they're just too theological. Um, uh, they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be about God. You see? But see, her God was the one that she saw in the mirror. Okay? So she didn't want to hear a whole lot about God and a whole lot about doctrine and things. You see, <clears throat> she didn't want to sing with the understanding also. We need to sing with the understanding that we're praising the Lord. We need to sing and understand, hey, you know what? This is interesting. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of His holiness. Beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion on the sides of the north, the city of the great King. Buster Roloff used to sing that. I always loved to hear him sing that. But that's scripture. I will sing with the understanding also. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Hey, I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly. What? <laughs> Chapter and verse, please. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Uh, you know? This... this now, you know, the music and whatever, I'm not even going to sing all the, any more of the modern songs. They make me want to puke. But, you know, they're disgusting. You're not singing with the understanding. I'll show you another verse that ties in with this thing. John chapter 4. John chapter 4, verse 23 through 24. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers. What's the point of you singing? You're supposed to be worshiping Jesus Christ. The true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. I will sing with the spirit. I will sing with the understanding. Understanding what? What are you supposed to understand as a Christian? The truth. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Are the songs that you're singing, are they based on Scripture? They should be. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. You say, well, uh, so then all old hymns are good. No, there's unfortunately some old hymns that are rather rotten as well. You say, give me an example, okay? Um, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. You say, oh, you would condemn that song? Yes, I would, because there is no God in three persons. There is no blessed trinity. You know? I mean, should I just start singing to a guy named George, you know? Um, uh, you know, George's blood washes away my sins. Or, you say, well, no, that'd be wrong. His name's not George, it's Jesus. Sure. Um, then why would I sing to something called a trinity? Or God in three persons? You say, well, what do we do with that? Well, we either change the lyrics to, you know, um, God, uh, 
Jesus is the Lord and not a trinity. That's one of the ways we like to sing it. <laughs> or just don't sing the song. Simple. Sing with your understanding. Sing with the Spirit, you see. Um, don't lie about the Lord. And there's other old, old hymns too, you know, you got to watch out for some of them and whatever else. I remember I have a Baptist hymn though, and they actually had a song about astronauts. I, I, I'm not joking. <laughs> you know, it's weird. But, uh, you know, there's just no argument for the thing of, of this contemporary Christian rock stuff and whatever else. You are doing what you like. It's all about you. It's the music that you prefer, you see. Um, and you look at the lyrical content of that stuff, it's terrible. And you look at the, just the beat and everything else, the very hem heavy emphasis on rhythm, it's satanic. So uh, you can watch the other videos for more proof on that thing. Um, Christian rock is evil. Get away from it. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching.